Okay, and let's move on. Uh, for those of you who doesn't remember, this dude died here alone, and he sealed himself from something. So we haven't met this something, but I guess uh, sooner or later we will bump into something. So okay, let's explore, let's find out uh, what are we supposed to do next. Well, you definitely can go in there. Oh, here it is. I bet I can make use of this. Okay, we have two explosives. Uh, but why two? I think one will be more than enough for this one. Well, fuck. Okay, uh, there was a second one. I'll take it with myself, I believe. Oh no, you know what? I, I won't take it, take it. I kind of forgot <laughs> uh, that after you. Uh, releasing it, it will explode anyway. doesn't carry anything. Oh, okay. So the Russians found some kind of portal that transported them to this planet. And then, and then things went terribly wrong. Oh, so this is about the portal. That's kind of funny because I was wondering uh, how the hell they managed, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Russians to get on the Mars uh, without being noticed by someone, by, by Americans, for example. For example, I remember when Americans were landing on the moon. Uh, well, uh, let's yeah drop this <laughs> shitty theory about uh, that Americans weren't on the moon. They were. Uh, Soviet uh, scientists were tracking them down, tracking their signals from moon to the well, their transmissions from moon to the uh, Canaveral. So yeah, I thought the same about here, if Russians went to the Mars, definitely Americans were able to get them, but it's all about portal, so now, well, now we know it. So what do we have here, USSR? Something else I can see. Uh, hospital, больница. Now it's becoming a little scary, to be honest, because I hate hospitals. Virus распространяется все быстрее. Все попытки сдержать его пока не увенчались успехом. Однако мы не сдаемся. Мои коллеги работают без устали. Здесь мы имеем дело с неземными существами, поэтому многого мы не знаем. Задача очень сложная, но мы ее разрешим. Мы должны ее разрешить. Окей. Oh, okay. I thought there is some sound in the game, but this is outside some some douchebag on the bike. Whoa. Well. Is there something about his wife? Whoa.
Sure, so as I said, uh, Tolstoy's book, Ayelita. Someone definitely is a very big fan of this book. Okay, probably I need to do something with this barrel, yeah? <coughs> Sorry. Okay, here, uh, here are footprints. It would be awesome if uh, some creature was looking at us from there and then disappeared. I still remember a very awesome moment from Uncharted 2 that, uh, in my opinion, one of the, one of the most uh, awesome moments. Uh, when you were climbing up and camera was slowly going back, uh, distance were like increasing, yeah, you were far and far away. And you, you were looking at your hero while at the same time on the left there was like some black shadow then suddenly it moved and roared and that was like a very very awesome moment well in my opinion at least need to find a way to turn this on oh wait Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, let's find this. Whoa. So far this game is really awesome, but what the... Maybe there's a way around. Maybe. Nothing in there, okay. By the way, what is about our oxygen? Some other green things. Whoa. Looks like they were trying to mine this stuff. Who knows if it isn't radioactive? So yeah, but something tells me it wasn't a man, a human being who was running away. Probably a humanoid, one of the locals, as it was said in a letter. Some girl. Oh, well, okay. Okay, footprints stop there, but... Oh, 
Okay, here I am, and so what? Ah, wait, wait, okay, now I understand. Sorry. Whoa. I thought I like I saw someone. Okay, when we'll be rendering this video, we'll check this out. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just uh, that wheel. Hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, we are outside again, I suppose, yeah. Well, hell. I can't even imagine how, <laughs> how the hell we managed to build shit like this on this lonely planet. It would take like Decades, I guess. Whoa, well, well, especially this shit, like, seriously. With low gravity and stuff like that. Okay, so this is where I came from, right? Right. So I suppose now I need to go there and then go back there. Well, I like uh, this kind of exploring games. Who the hell is this? This girl probably who ran away. Ah uh, no, she speaks Russian. She said, "Don't, don't follow me." Well, maybe she's an alien who learned Russian. That was either a vivid hallucination, or I'm not alone on this planet. Yeah, she might be an alien who just learned Russian <laughs> through the tortures. Or maybe not. This one is blocked. Here is nothing. And this one blocked, so yeah. I, th I thought, to be honest, we will explore this thing. And yeah, this is this isn't the path. Несмотря на нерешительность наших ученых, я увеличил выход энергии генераторов тока на 200 процентов без всякого заметного влияния на окружающую среду. Скорость размножения видов, называемых нами зеленый огонь, кажется достаточно высокой. И мы думаем, что они также могут служить источником пищи для остальной растительной жизни на планете. Чтобы успокоить моих коллег, я вернул генераторы на нормальный выход тока. Но результат... Я вдруг подумал. Интересно, не является ли обилие энергии само по себе сдерживающим фактором военного конфликта? Опустили бы наши враги свое оружие, если бы узнали, что наши реакторы никогда не отключатся. Что осталось бы от их самодовольства, от того, что их флаг находится на Луне, если бы, глядя на Землю, они видели только неугасимый свет могущественного Советского Союза? В сравнении с научным потенциалом, который представлен здесь, ядерное оружие кажется лишь дубинкой дикаря. Все больше наших семей перебирается сюда, Наше общество расцвело настолько, что мы уже можем назвать это место Родиной. Новой Родиной. Наверное, таким же чувством были охвачены великие писатели нашего времени, глядя на свои бессмертные творения. Истинное совершенство. Interesting. So let's find this girl who said to not follow her.
And why she wasn't wearing a helmet or anything? Oh, there she is. What if I will go there? Maybe I'll find something. No, I won't find shit. Okay. Where are you, girl? Whoa. Oh, she has USSR on her t-shirt. Oh, whatever it is. Well, it's not t-shirt, but there is she. Okay, looks like someone was trying to to reach us. Well, okay, screw this girl. Let's just continue our journey. Whoa. Nothing interesting in there, so I don't have to go down. Okay, we have something interesting here. Okay. Okay, nice. Now this girl probably following us. <laughs> oh, th no, there is she. Now oh, that's some fearless girl. Probably we won't be able to check this out inside, I mean. Oh, wait. Whoa, and down there is a river. Well, nice. <coughs> oh, oxygen, good. Ah. Oh. Nice. So you yeah, can get inside as well. Well, I think our answer is, answer is obvious. <laughs> oh, uh, what the? Um, okay, let's try one more time.
Nice. Okay. So we actually can die easily here. <laughs> okay. So we have our limits in the matter of hate. Sorry. Well, that's sweet, but where do I... Ah, probably I supposed to jump somewhere else, I guess. Or get here, for example. Or not. Yeah, probably suppose I'm s ah. Well, what? Let's try. No. Yeah. Yeah, now I understand. What I was supposed to do, I was supposed to jump from there to there and here, here, okay. Well, it's too late to complain. Okay, where do I jump now? Where, where, where is this girl? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I was just supposed to be in there. And the last step. Good. So she must be here, and then she went there, I suppose. Well, a rainbow. Well, that's sweet. Another waterfall, like in Prometheus. <laughs> okay, where the hell is this girl? I want some answer. Well, that's some big rock, I must say. Ah, oh, come on, I'm tired from this running and jumping. I want some action. Oh, well, there is one much bigger. Looks like we'll have to... Uh, yeah, use this. But you know what? I think I will do this in the next part. Uh, so, so far, so good. So here it is, thanks for watching.